The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Anyone receiving me? This... To Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN-4... 6890. Anyone out there? If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Huh. Is anyone else out there? Look, we got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's the only survivor from Baron's division. That's him. The one Connor's been talking about. Sergeant! Commander. Sergeant Rivers, I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps' coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense. I understand that all this might be confusing. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, like always, the mission was to issue one of whom was you. I took it upon myself to choose the one I chose was you. Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location. How did you know that the Central Core was... Understanding the changing nature of... So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that... What do you mean? When that infiltrate... They had to move the Central... Unfortunately, the intel we received... I'm sure you'll figure out...
124 are on their way to the central core. Then we better get ready. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers. Don't worry. We'll provide the support. Follow me. Commander? Commander?
first sector is secured. All right, River. Continue the offensive. Preparing to send in the tank. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47! Watch out! Zero in on that T-47!
Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went... Ariel! Down it! T-47 ahead! Two of them! Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turret.
replacement equipment. They know they're going to lose this war. You need to hurry! Everyone, on me! This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! What's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. D-1000 
Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? No, I don't. You don't? Then we've got a problem. I don't believe any of our soldiers are capable of stopping the T-1000. We'll have to find another way, and we have to do it soon. Then, there's the man is, are you willing to... Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not... You do have the power to change it. I'll do it. I'll go back. I knew you wouldn't. So I won't get killed this time around. Let us begin, then. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. The battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. There was no way a human could stand up against the more advanced T-1000. But without Dr. Mack to reprogram an infiltrator CPU, Connor would be forced to find another way to get a machine on our side. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. Aaron died in that shelter. She believed that her work was helping win the war, and she was right. I hope now she can finally rest. Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man, with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick died at the hands of Terminators in the shelter. I wish there was something I could have done to make them leave. I executed Mac. Baron was convinced that he was a threat to our cause. As a soldier, I've been taught to obey orders. But this time, I wasn't sure if it was the right decision. And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. <laughs> 